A local business owner has concerns about the future of her jewelry store, but then something strange happened, giving this woman hope. Idaho News 6 reporter Steve Dent has this unique story of this woman's close encounter with a peregrine falcon in an urban environment. Imagine driving in downtown Boise when all of a sudden a young peregrine falcon lands on your car. It was breathtaking. Jenny Byrne created Zealandia Designs, a jewelry company that specializes in using nature to craft art. But this online business has endured a tough time during the coronavirus. Uh, like many small business owners right now, the questions on my mind has been how can our jewelry company survive? And it seems like the answer came to me with this awesome experience. Jenny Byrne believes the falcon is a sign of hope because she creates jewelry inspired by animals. I use sterling silver, gems, and ancient fossilized ivory. Working with ancient mammoth ivory keeps me aware of how easily such a magnificent creature can go extinct. Falconers had the knowledge and the passion to restore endangered species. At one point, the peregrine falcon came close to extinction. A trainer at the Birds of Prey told me this experience is encouraging, showing an example of how wildlife can coexist with humans. And from what I learned, Jenny Byrne got to experience what likely was a juvenile falcon's first flight as this bird came from a nest on top of the Capitol One building. Luckily, it seems the force was with her when she made her second attempt at flight. But Jenny Byrne thinks more can be done to protect the animals we share this earth with. It is my hope that when people wear one of my polar bears or some of my bees, it will spark a conversation on what can be done to clean up our act. But it's also a once in a lifetime experience Jenny Byrne won't soon forget. I felt very blessed, gifted. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.